Size Matter and we've got another RV review for you today. We are at the Wildwoods Convention Center Fall RV Show in Wildwood, New Jersey. I know, now we're in New Jersey. We are at Dylan's RV and they have brought the Numar product, yay, to the RV show. So uh, in the end here I'll link to the construction video for Numar. Numar's got a really vast, wide uh, amount of Class A coaches so I want to make sure you get the uh, construction information and then we'll go through each one individually so this one is the country star I do want to remind you that everything we tell you here on these videos is based on a ton of research that Corey and I do but also our opinions and the way we would use a rig which might be different than what you do so watch these videos and get all the information you can and apply that to how you're going to use an RV because it's different for everybody so let's get started on the Country Star 4037. As we mentioned in the construction video, the chassis are different on uh, many of the different coaches that Newmar has. So the Country Star is on the Freightliner XCR chassis. It has a 360 horsepower Cummins B 6.7 engine. Lots of power, I'm sure. It is a diesel pusher, so that engine's at the back. Now, in that um, construction video, we talked about the star superstructure and all of those details, so that should help you out there. But we're gonna now go around the coach and take a look at all of the features that it has. So come on. In here, the Country Star, it has its generator, and that is an eight kilowatt Onan generator. So it does actually slide in and out from here, but it also can just stay in there and you can hit the button and it'll run for you. And then there's an exhaust out here that we'll show you when we go around. Come on. So coming around the driver's side, uh, these rigs are tall and you've got great views uh, out the windows. You've got big mirrors. There are cameras that are going down the side. And these are a really great feature because it's obviously very helpful when you're driving down the road to be able to see what's beside you if you have to do a lane change but I know Corey even uses these for uh, parking and things like that because it just gives you such a great view down the side of your rig so let's see what's behind door number one okay so here's where all the fuses and those kinds of things are so down here is the exhaust for that front generator and then I also want to point out that on this Country Star 4037 is the super slide. It goes all the way down the length of the coach. So, I mean, this is a big, heavy slide. It's using an electric rack and pinion with cog wheel uh, system mechanism to pull it in and out. This is a super heavy slide, and that, uh, they tell me, is a very good, strong mechanism. Um, I'm going to climb under here because, as it is in these shows, um, they park these things really tight so they can fit them all in here, which makes it hard for us to film all the way around. But the things we'll do <laughs> to get you guys the view you need. They do now have a fuel um, fill on both sides of the coach. Other coaches have done that before, but I think it's new to Newmar. And what's important about that is it just makes the complicated and sometimes stressful part about having a rig this size, which is pulling in to get fuel, and where do you go, and are you going to be able to get out, and what if you can't get into the pump, and all those kinds of questions. It's a lot easier with one on each side. Okay, let me climb under here some more, and we'll look in these doors. So this is door number one. Uh, ouch, see, I banged my head. Um, okay. You get your batteries and you get your onboard propane. I don't really know that I found a number, but I will look it up for how much propane is in there. And I believe this has, let me look at my notes, four six volt house batteries. Um, and then there would be coach batteries on top of that, right, Corey? Uh, there would be chassis batteries for the engine. Yes. Right. And so the four 
uh, six volts are just the coach ones. Okay, let's move down here. Hopefully I don't smack my head again. So this is part of the pass-through storage. It allows you to take a look at that chassis and that star uh, foundation. And another one. Wow, there is quite a bit of storage, right? All passed through, lit, heated. Oh, <laughs> my legs are gonna feel this in the morning. <laughs> More storage. So you can put a lot of stuff in the basement of this coach. Now, let's see what's here. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, this is why it's important for us to climb around under here, even though we're at a show. Because this is your wet bay. So you've got water filtration. Uh, this is your water connection. Uh, sewage rinse. What else? Fresh water tank fill. Your water pump. I wonder why they have the water pump on in here. We do. We have it in at every sink. No, no, no. I don't mean the switch. I mean, I can oh. hear that they have the water pump running. You've got an outdoor shower. You have a hot and cold for that that are open and off. Um, you've got all your connections in here. So what do you think? Do you think this would be easy to winterize from here? I mean, you've got valves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's got a connection for winterizing. I think it's super easy. Yeah, I'm just pointing that out because I don't do the winterizing, so I wouldn't know, but Corey does. And um, it's important to be able to have easy access to valves and things for that. You've also got your sewer connection and your poles, your black and your gray. And that's all going to fit down through here and then go out to your connections um, at the post. So that's that. Now, let's go down further. I'm following the hole. I know, right? This is the, this is the back. How back of the house scenes of an RV show. What do we got? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is for your DEF, for your diesel. Okay. Shall I venture into what this is? I have no idea. It's like a little storage cubby. That's okay. probably your... Uh Electric motor for the slide system. Opinion. Yeah, you're right. So there's that. Let's see what's in here. Okay, this is your uh, electrical cord, which is going to be a 50 amp. And of course, you can get the um, the extra pieces to add on to make it a 30 if you needed to, or depending on where you are, right? Because often, especially in Canada, we don't get 50 amp. And then more storage. So that's nice. There is a lot of storage on this rig. Uh, while we're back here, let's take a look up to the top of the slide because this is a good place to see the slide awnings that we always advocate and say are a great thing to have. You can also see the rail uh, to disperse the water away from the rig as it comes off of the um, roof. I would like to see a little better spout, but the spout is there. You also, at the back here, get a ladder because you do have a fully walkable roof and you need to be on it. <laughs> and also there's backup cameras and things like that back here. And I can't show you anymore because this is pretty tight quarters, isn't it? <laughs> there is a hitch on here and I will see if I can find out what the actual towing capacity of this rig is are nice um, thick well insulated doors they have the slam latch on them um, apparently you really do have to slam them like body slam them I don't think I like that as so much they should close easy I guess the other point while I'm under here to talk about um, is good thing these are passed through because once your slide is out, you'd be crawling around under here to get at them. So it's a good thing you can get them from the other side. Uh, you are going to be crawling around underneath your slide in order to get at your wet bay. Okay, that one worked. 
So I just want to point out this little feature up on the side back here, and I'm not going to talk about it a whole bunch now, but it totally excites me, and I'll show you why when we go inside. So let's take a look behind this door. Oh boy. Okay, so this is where those chassis batteries are. So you've got access to everything under here. I don't know, this looks like something off of Santa's sleigh in the movie Elf. <laughs> but uh, obviously that's your exhaust. <laughs> So let's carry on. Let's see if I can shut this one. Okay. Here uh, is another storage bay. Again, more lighting. So that's great. And, oh, I'm really doing better. Okay, these wheels. So these are big truck wheels, right? They are a 275-70R-225 uh, Michelin tire. So oh, it's a 22.5 inch tire then. So that makes it a big truck tire. Uh, the, it'll have steel wheels, but they do have a chrome wheel simulator in here just to make it look good, right? Another slide. And let's go back and check this out. What the heck is that? A tool board. It is. I bet you that's what it is. That's exactly what this is. Isn't that a cool use of space? So they've got this, you can hang whatever you want in here and it would be easy to access and find and organize. Nice job, Numar. Okay. That wasn't a good slam. No, I still can't do it. I want to point out the uh, awning and that it'll be an electric awning. It'll have LED lighting in it and then it just rolls up into a uh, enclosed cover at the top. What are we getting here? Okay, so this is the other side of all that pass-through. Electric hookups, it also has lighting, so that's great. Keep going, there's more. And then, I think there'll be one more of these. And then above, these uh, storage is this outdoor TV. Um, you know that outdoor TVs aren't the biggest deal for us, but they certainly are for a lot of people depending on their destination, so that's good. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to pull that top down, but you know, it is good that they have a top like that because I'm sure it reflects any uh, sun or things like that, although you do have the awning above it. Okay. One more door here, uh, and again, just more storage. It's amazing how much stuff you can fit in the basement of these rigs. Believe me, I've made Corey bring an entire teak <laughs> table and chair set, you know, which we rarely bring out, but it's there in case I need it, right? So here's that other uh, fuel fill for this side. You, so you're going to have six of those babies, <laughs> three on each side that you're going to need to maintain and take care of, and they are big truck tires. Make sure you get good ones. So these are a Leipert built uh, retractable stair. They look more um, metal to me than aluminum, but they're going to go back into and be flush here, and they'll be automatic, of course which I want to caution you about because what happens when you're maybe pulled up to a curb or something like that, when you come out and open the door, these just automatically come out. So you'll want to be careful of what you might be up against. So on the entrance steps, I also wanted to point out the secret storage spot. So whether that's tools or shoes or whatever, there's one there and there's one there. This piece slides out through these grooves Oh, yeah. so that you have a solid surface under your feet when you're inside the rig and you're not using the stairs. That is an important feature, I think. The other thing I want to point out while you're down there looking is this vent that goes all the way around. I love that. Anything that can blow heat on me is a wonderful, wonderful invention. So that is the outside of the Newmark Country Star 4037. So let's go check out the inside. I'm excited. This is a beautiful rig. Come on. <laughs>